Hello, this is an advanced video for Sorobound adding up techniques based on mechanization. We're going to learn a fast, better method how to add up numbers on a Sorobound. So now you did it this way. Uh, let's say you've got 111 and you want to add up 111 more. Okay, that's pretty easy. That gives us 222. Good. Now, let's say we've got a 3, and we want that to add a 9. Oh, that seems more difficult. Why? We don't have 9 beats here. So, what we're going to do with this technique is think always of the opposite. Look at this number. Well, 1 is the opposite of 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, and of course 5 is the opposite of 5. Well, this is pretty straightforward. Good. Now, again to our example. We've got here 3 beats. Good. Now, we can't add 9 because we don't have 9 beats. So we just take down 1. Good. And since this beat touched the lower ball, see? touch, transmit the energy to the lower bar, this energy is going to the left bar, and we add 1 here. Now, well, this is pretty easy to remember. The result is 12. Good. So, keep in mind, always, 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 when adding up, we try to move up. If it's not possible, we move the opposite down. Again, we've got a 4, and we'll try to add up let's say a 7. Well, that's impossible. So, we move down 3. 3. Good. We move down 3, and since these beats touch the lower bar, we move 1 up on this side. Again, we've got a 1, and we'll... no, we've got a 6, and we'll try to add up another 6. 6 and 6 is... Well, we've got enough beats, indeed, so we'll try to move up 6 beats. 1, and this one counts for 5, as you know. Up, this is, again, up, 6 up. And since this one touched the upper bar, it transmits the energy to this side. The result is 12. So, whenever a beat touches the upper and lower bar, we are going to add one to the left. Good. Again, mm, let's say for example we've got a three and we want to add a seven. Well, we can't add seven beats, so we just subtract three, three down, and one to the left. The result is a ten. This is pretty easy. There is one except ex exception though, but it's also very pretty easy to notice. Uh, let's imagine we've got a 2. And to this 2 we want to add a, a 3. Well, this 3 um, would force us, since we can't add 3 beats, we have to take down the opposite, which is 7. Good, we take down 7. And according to our rule, we should now be moving 1 here. Since this beat touch the lower bar, okay? But the result we want is a 5, not a 15. So, what does happen? Imagine this, whenever this upper beat here, which counts for 5, goes down, it blocks any energy transmission. Good? So, summarizing the basic rules. Whenever you try to add up, always try to move up. For example, as you'll know, moving this one up is like subtracting, but it really doesn't matter to you. You're subtracting or you're adding up. What you should keep in mind is that whenever you try to add up, you first try to move all down you can. If you can, you move down the opposite. Uh, again, we've got the 6 here, we'll add another 6. Even though 
we are subtracting this one we'll count it like adding up a 6 and since the energy is being transmitted we add up 1 so the basic rules again the rules are whenever you add up you try to move down the beads if you can't move them down you move them up you try to move down the opposite good once you've done that you look if any beads touch the upper and or lower bar if they have you add one to the left there's one exception though and it's whenever this one goes down it blocks any let's say I call it energy transmission and this one doesn't go so this is pretty easy, everything this is a very easy method to remember because uh, when moving the fingers you remember you notice that motion you don't have to think about uh, what you're adding up you just move your fingers and you just add up a beat to the left according to the movement if you notice that you, that you move down you'll add one if you notice that this one goes up you'll add one if you notice that this one goes down and this one too you don't add anything this is blocked if you practice a, f a few minutes you'll get used to it and you'll see this is a very easy method because you don't have to think about what you're doing you just move and based on the move movement of your fingers you'll get a correct effective and fast result well thank you very much for watching this is everything goodbye